Yo, what is going on people? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use the economy editor to make loot and zombies on your own custom map. Obviously this will work for servers. So what you first need to do is you first need to go to Daisy Tools. You want to go to Tools and mount your P drive. Now you don't have to put the files in your P drive, but I think why not put everything in your P drive. I'm going to leave a link to something down in the description below where you can actually download these files. You'll need these files as the normal Chinaris ones. You can edit the normal Chinaris ones as well if you would like, but this is showing you how the tools, how to create new areas and how to make it on your own map. So what you want to do is you want to extract it. As you can see, I've got it extracted here. And I'm going to be using Lakeside today. So I'm going to call this Lakeside. Now, this can be called anything. It doesn't really matter. But that's what you want to do. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to your source files. You want to copy your satellite image. As you can see, mine is there. And you're going to go to Lakeside and chinaris and then in here you want to paste the image now as you can see at the moment it's got map.png now you can rename your image to map.png or what you can do is you can use the same as what you've got now so see that or you go into area map flags and what you do is you change this here and then it should be fine when you go in game that's sorted easy clap or we're ready to go in game so once you've done that what you want to do is you want to go back to your daisy tools you want to open economy editor up and you want to go load and you want to make sure you load the correct one so you go to your p drive here 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 now remember this can be anywhere on your computer it doesn't have to be in the p drive and it doesn't have to be called lakeside it's just something so you know what's what so I'll see you when this is all loaded up. So once you've actually got it open, it'll look something like this. Now to zoom out, you want to hold control and scroll wheel. And as you can see, I can move up and down. Or you have this bar here. Whatever your image size is, it will change to that. So if, the, if you've got a small map and your image is only that big, it'll only max out to that size. And you can go anywhere on the map you want. You just hover over it with your cursor. And as you can see, you can move around. Now... What you want to do is you want to down all these. Now, you can create your own custom ones, but I wouldn't recommend doing so. I'd recommend using the ones that are already made as they're already scripted in the server files for the loot. Now, what you want to do is first we're going to go on to zombies. So I'm going to click industrial zombies. Now, as you can see, they've all shown up. And what you need to do to move these is you need to click the moves on thing and double click and as you can see you can move this around now I've been told don't overlap them as it will stop them spawning in now as you can see to the right here you've got the opacity so you can make them all thicker or you can make them invisible it's all up to you the radius simple put 400 gets bigger put 100 gets smaller and you can do whatever you want now if you want to remove this area what you can do is you can right click and click remove If you use your static, so if I put one here and uh, max 10, it must do that. It has to do that amount. But if you go on dynamic, it does not have to do that. So remember that if you use dynamic, which is a default, it doesn't have to do that. Now, what you do is you can click on any of these. These all show up around the map. And say you want a zombie in this area, you click that, you move it there. And if you want these zombies here... And that's why when when I used to play on Trump's wall server, up here there used to be so many zombies. Because obviously they didn't edit this, and that's why there was a lot of zombies up here. Now, as you know, you can zoom out. And if you do want to add your own territory type, you just click add, and it'll click a new one. Click on it, click F2, and rename it. But, like I said before, I'd recommend not doing that, as it won't be configured. Unless you config it, then you'll be fine. <laughs> Now, painting, so you get the loot system. As you can see, you've got your tier 1 all down here. You've got your tier 2 there, tier 3, and tier 4. Now, as you know, your tier 4 is like the airfield. Tier 3 is just here and there. T 
tier twos like in villagers and tier one on Chinaris would have been around the outside as you can see when I click here now you can create your own tier by clicking this but like I said before I do not recommend this I recommend you using the ones that are already made now if you want to edit tier one what you do is you click paint mode now I'm in paint mode and as you can see I can draw like this and make little air things but what you want to do is you want to make your brush size bigger so right down at the bottom as you can see I've made it bigger now you can scribble all this in and this makes it so on that area you will have the loot here and I have tested this out before so I do know that this works and if you do have any questions about this please leave them in the comments and the same thing is down here I, I'm not going to pop it up but you can change the color and opacity as well as you can see this is probably about 50% opacity so yeah you can edit these on the side but I wouldn't recommend just use the ones that are already made as you can see, you can draw anything with these. Bloody blah, go around. This is paint office, so you just want to go around. Basically, it's just a lot of messing around just to try and learn things. Now, what you want to do once you've done this, say we've done, it's a bit scuffed, but we're done. You want to go to this button up here, save it, and you're going to click save. Now, this is going to say, do you want to replace it? Click yes. You don't need the old one anymore. It's going to take some time to extract, depending on how big your map is and how many objects are actually on here. Depends on the time it will take. But this won't take so long, so I'll see you when it's done. <whistles> so now if you're doing this for a server, which this is how you get your zombies set up, what you want to do is you want to get a folder. Um, as you can see, I've got a very messy background, but ignore that for now. You want to get your folder, Daisy, whatever, or Daisy Offline. You want to call it dot whatever your map is. I'm going to turn this off because I don't want you to see that. I'm very messy. And what you want to do is you want to delete this. And when you go back to your P drive, you want to go to Lakeside, this. And as you can see, area map flags here. Now what you want to do is you want to copy that, paste that in here. And as you can see, all the stuff is set up there. Go into EMV. You want to delete everything apart from domestic animal territories, as that has not been extracted. So you go to territory types, control A, control C, control V. Remember to delete the storage folder if you have one, as it will not refresh. And once you've deleted that, you are fine that's your animal territory set up so yeah i hope you enjoyed it if you do have any questions please leave them in the comments below i don't have a squeaky chair anymore i bought a new chair my old chair snapped i let i leaned back on it and it went crack so i've got a nice beautiful gaming chair now so you're not gonna hear squeak 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 for any of the videos remember to join my discord i've been banned from all the daisy discord the main ones for things that are petty, which I never got banned for before, even though I did them, like, advertise my videos. But guess what? Got banned now, because some angry people. So do join my Discord. I'm always there. If you need any help, you'll be able to leave it there. There is other map devs in there also that will be able to help you. And there is other devs in there, like texture devs. So if you are looking to texture, there's also texture devs there. So thanks for watching. If you're not already subscribed, leave a subscription, leave a like, and I'll see you guys later. Adios, amigos.